Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you caught my recent video where I created a new account with the broker FXView, then you're going to like this video because in this video I'm going to share with you an update on what it's been like trading with FXView as well as some live Forex trading and a look at some spreads. So please make sure to click like and subscribe and let's get into the video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Emily and on Mindfully Trading, I share my journey as I grow and develop as a trader. I've been trading for about five years now. I previously traded the American stock market, but I have switched to trading the foreign exchange market, Forex. And I also juggle this as well as looking after my one-year-old as I'm also a full-time mother. So if you'd like to follow me along with this crazy journey, make sure you're subscribed below. One of the problems that I've experienced when it comes to trading is knowing what broker to trade with. There's so many options out there and there's quite a lot of points to remember. Do they offer good commissions? Are they safe? And do they offer good spreads? How can I deposit money? All of these questions that you need to think about when you choose a broker. Well, I've decided to have a go with the broker of FX View. And in my previous video, you can see me depositing some money with them and talking a little bit about their platform. Well, since then, I have been actively trading this account and and I've actually recorded some live trading this week to share with you now. So I don't always get time to record myself when I set my trades because I do have a really busy lifestyle. And quite often I am doing my watch list at the weekend and then squeezing in setting trades in the week. So I haven't managed to get as much live trading recorded as I would like to, but here are a couple of trades that I set this week. So the first one here is a trade that I set on Australian dollar, US dollar. So here's the four hourly time frame. Just to have a quick look at my analysis, it's currently in a range, and I just try to get in at the top of the range for a short position. So I took this right at the beginning of the week, and it was basically my weekly outlook for this pair. Dropping onto the one hour time frame, and then the 15 minute time frame, just to give you a look at the analysis. And I it was pretty much trading this pattern here. It looks a bit like a head and shoulders on the 15 minute where we had a break in market structure. And I was looking for a break and retest entry in line with this fair value gap. So that is a concept that I have learned from ICT, the Inner Circle Trader. Definitely encourage you to check out them on YouTube if you haven't already, because they've got some really good material on there. So here's a look at the spreads. And this was when the market opened on Sunday evening. So that's usually quite a tricky point in the market because the spreads can be really quite wide and choppy. As I'm recording this, it is coming up 20 past two GMT. So I'm gonna jump onto the platform in a moment and just share with you how the spreads are looking at this time. But as you can see, this trade didn't quite work out for Australian dollar, US dollar. I had the right idea, but it just needed to pull back a little bit more to this area on the Farley time frame. But I've just opened my broker here with MetaTrader 4 with FXView and it's currently coming up to half past two GMT. So just to share with you what the spreads are looking like, so this is during both the London and the American sessions. You would expect the spreads to be really quite tight at this time because it's a very busy point in the market. So have a look here at pound USD. You can see it's currently a very tight spread of around about four or five marginal pips. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go through a few of the majors just to compare here. And if you are considering using FX2, it gives you a chance to just see what the spreads are like. EURUSD also has a really tight spread at the moment. Here's the spread for USD Canadian dollar. And Australian dollar, US dollar is also a really tight spread. You can see that it's moving very quickly because it is a very busy time in the day. But it has around about a three or four marginal pip spread there. And you might be sitting there wondering what exactly is a spread. It's the difference between the buy and the sell price. Because if I was to buy Australian dollar now at 40 with the marginal pip at one, when I come to sell that, I would have to look at the sell price. So immediately once you have brought, you would be in the negative depending on what the spread is. Some brokers have a really huge spread. So this could be 66, 39, but on the other side, it might be 66, 37. So that's quite a wide spread because there are two pips there, which means that you're ultimately going to be two pips down if you were to buy. It's why it's really important to get a broker that has a tight spread because it's always going to start you off 
in the right direction and it also helps in order execution. So if you are looking to get filled on a limit order or if you have a stop loss to consider, you want that spread to be really tight to just reduce any chances of slippage. So here's the spread for USD JPY. And let's have a look at a minor pair as well. So I'm gonna have a look at Euro Pound. Still pretty good tight spread on that pair. And something a bit different, New Zealand Dollar, Japanese Yen. I would expect that to have a larger spread, but that's actually pretty good. So as you can see, the spreads for FX view are looking to be pretty good at this time of the day. They're very tight, which is what you want in a broker. Something else that's pretty good from FX view is this week they've also recently gained a new license, an FSCA license, which is the Financial Services Conduct Authority, which are based in South Africa. So they've got another body there that's backing them up as a regulated broker to consider for trading. It's really important that you look for these in a broker because it just adds to that safety aspect to know that your funds are protected. And something else that I recently found out about FXU as well this week is that they actually offer a loyalty points service for choosing them as a broker. What exactly is that? But it means that basically you receive loyalty points for different things that you do with FXView and you can redeem those points in return for subscriptions to different products or even for capital to add to your trading account. So it's really quite interesting. So for example, if you are to sign up with FXView and just simply verify your address and open an account, you will receive some loyalty points. And the more points that you receive, the more money that you can potentially make. I'll show you what I mean. So you start off as a bronze member simply by opening and verifying your account. So you don't even have to deposit any money at this stage. And that will award you some points. And then for every trade that you take, so it says here, Forex or Commodities, one trade lot, you actually gain four points. So it basically means that the more often you trade, the more points you're going to make. And just hopping onto my dashboard here with FX view, you can see that at the moment, I've actually got 52 loyalty points. So this is a really new account. I've only been trading it for a couple of weeks, but I've already got 52 loyalty points, which is the equivalent of around about $5. Might not sound that much, but actually I'm pretty happy with that because it's $5 I didn't have before. And the more often I'm gonna trade, more money I'm going to build up in loyalty points, which I can choose to get deposited back into my trading account to top it back up if I want to. There are also other options that you can use loyalty points for, as you can see here. So once you have enough, you can choose to have a subscription to different platforms, a VPS, or even have some cool things like a smartwatch, an iPad, or a laptop, or even a smartphone. Now these demand quite a lot of points, but if you are an active trader and if you let them build up over time, Hey, it's just something fun that you can also be gaining in the process. But as it stands, here is my current account with FXU. Unfortunately, I did talk about this in my previous video that I shared and uh, my funded account with the five percenters. I am actually going through a severe period of drawdown at the moment, unfortunately. It does happen with trading and the important thing is to manage risk more often than not reducing it taking a step back, having a break, and focusing on mindset, which is what I'm gonna do at the moment. I'm gonna give myself a little break to just center myself again and then keep going. It's so important to do this and to recenter, to avoid stepping into those unwanted trading emotions that can sometimes happen when you go through losing streaks. I know that I have felt this myself recently because I have definitely taken more trades than I actually needed to do this week, which only made more losers. So I'm gonna have a little break. But my first experience of trading with FXU has definitely been a positive one. So if you are looking for a broker to use for your own trading, definitely encourage you to consider FXU and have a go. They do have a free demo available. So if you're a bit unsure about trading with real money just yet, you can still sign up with FXU and you can have a go on a demo account. It's brilliant if you're just starting out as well because there's nothing to lose from it. You don't have to pay for it, it's totally free. And if you are ready to get your feet wet in the world of trading with real money, then they're definitely a great broker to consider. So I have got a link below in the description where you can check them out so you can have a go and see for yourself. Meanwhile, if you've enjoyed this video, please do drop me a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel below. And I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.